field. That was to safeguard against flooding in the olden days. And here you get your first view of the magnificent pitch at Lanarone. With the members busily uh, putting the finishing touches. Bit of practice at football, I suppose, inspired by Owen Conway there before the big occasion. It's certainly not Wimbledon that's been prepared for the tennis championships. It's the boys getting the grass cut for the meeting of Clare and Limerick. Some six more, I do believe, were involved in this. The man in charge of this operation here is John Ryan, former South Liberty stalwart. Played many a great game for the green and gold at left half back. And is assisted here by Pat McNamara and Pat O'Connor. And the lining of the field just has to be done. And this task has been performed here by John Pierce and Mick Flynn, better known locally as Ned Ray, for his great goals from the full forward position with Parthen. And there you see it, <coughs> the front, uh, frontal uh, picture of the mag magnificent new dressing room. Cameraman or Jerry of the Wire will take you on a tour of the clubhouse, which will give you some indication of the facilities that are now available to players who participate in games at party in GA field. It's certainly a far cry from the days when players had to tug out beside the bush, but I suppose we are now in 1984, and it is just what players come to expect from any sporting association. Planned by Noel Conway, uh, Brendan O'Brien uh, and Noel Cusick with the players in mind and certainly the, their finished product is testimony of their plans. Showers very necessary in these days. All adding up to make Partin one of the foremost G8 clubs in Clare, if not in Munster. <coughs> to commemorate the occasion here at the opening of the field, a special souvenir programme has been brought out by the committee, and it is certainly a mine of information. It features in front a photograph of the great Mick Mackey, Limerick's great hurling hero, and a cup for t tomorrow's game between uh, Clare and Limerick bears the name of Mick Mackey and has been presented to the party in committee by his widow, uh, Mrs. Kitty Mackey. Pre-match publicity was certainly terrific for this great opening and a great pal of Partin, Seamus O'Caneda, had a big article on the Limerick leader in memory of the late Mick Mackey and two announced details of the opening of the pitch. 
a former great Limerick star is ringed in this particular picture taken in Arna Crusher many, many years ago. Certainly there are many faces in the crowd that will evoke memories from many people.
the tear on a tail, what we'll do? Now the black and tans are plenty, but the IRA are few. We'll send the wild to strangle our before we'll walk that far. Now oh, yeah, the boys are jolly riding Johnson's motor car. Johnson read the wire, me boys, he soon pulled on his shoes. He said the case is urgent, there's little time to lose. He wore a fancy caster hat and on his breast a star. And you can hear the din gone through Len Finn and Johnson's motor car. When Johnson reached the Spillum Bridge, he met some rebels there. He knew the game was up with him and at them he did glare. He said, I have a permit to travel up this far. To have your English permit, we want your motor car. Now what will me loyal brethren say when I get to from bold? To think me car was commandeered by the rebels from the blow. We'll give you our seat for her, it's signed by Captain Ma. Now an island gets a freedom, boy, you get your motor car. We put the car in motion and filled her to the brim. With guns and bayonets shining, how Johnson he did grin. When Barney raised the shin fins like we shot off like a star. And we gave these cheers for liberty and Johnson's motor car. Time is moving on here now on Sunday afternoon and it's the second game of the af afternoon between uh, Partine and Stranlara in an under 14 hurling. This is the Partine team and the man we are looking there second from the left in the back row is Paul Mackey, son of Pat Mackey and of course the s a grandson of the great Mick Mackey. This is the party team, and the man we are looking there second from the left in the back row is Paul Mackey, son of Pat Mackey, and of course the a grandson of the great Mick Mackey. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is the Clan Lara team, hoping to emulate the feet of the under 12s and the feet party on their home grounds on this great and historic occasion. The free for this game once again is Kieran Kilbridge, who did such an excellent job in the last game also. Ball is in and the game is on in this game, Partey looked the more physical side. Paul Mackey on the ball early. In white helmet and number 11. Seen under pressure in the early stages and an early goal for Clan Lara. When I was just a young man, should I long to see the world and sail across the same ships and see the sails and furl? Should I went to seek me fortune on the far side of the hill? I've wandered far and wide and now of travel I've had me fail and it's home, boys home. Home I'd like to be, home far away in the old country, where the oak and the ash and the funny rowan tree are all a-growing greener in the old country. Me love behind me and I sailed across the tide. I said that I'd be back again to take her family bride. Have a Benny's the year has passed and gone and still I'm far away. But I know that she is fond and true and waiting for the day that I'll be home. Boys home. Home I'd like to be. Home far away in the old country. Where the oak and the ash and the bunny rowan tree. 
that the lakes of Killarney are fair. No stream like the Liffey could ever compare. If it's water you want, you'll find nothing so rare as the stuff that's made down by the ocean. The sea or the sea is for our gallantry. Long may it roll between England and me. It's a sure guarantee that somehow we'll be free. Thank God we're surrounded by water. Now Tom Moore made his waters be fame and renown. A great lover of vanity dressed him around in brandy. The bandy old Saxon would drown And he'd throw never a drop in the ocean The sea, oh, the sea Is grand and free Long may it roll between England and me It's a sure guarantee That somehow we'll be free Thank God we're surrounded by water And the Welsh have their leaks And their poets get paid about ten pounds a week Provided no harsh words on England they speak Oh Lord, what a price for the motion The sea, oh the sea, is grand and McCree Long may it roll between England and me It's a sure guarantee that somehow we'll be free Thank God we're surrounded by water. Now two foreign old monarchs in battle did join. Each wanted his head on the back of a coin. If the Irish had sense, they'd drown both in the coin. And partition flow into the ocean. The sea, oh the sea, is Caragalma free. Long may it roll between England. to do but the dream of the plunder the Irish they slew how are you willing your viking said Brian Baru and he threw them back into the ocean the sea oh the sea is for our gallop of long may it roll between England and me it's a sure guarantee that somehow we'll be free thank God we're surrounded by water The sea, oh the sea is grand and green The long may it roll between England and me It's a sure guarantee that somehow we'll be free Thank God we're surrounded by water I Yankee sailing ship did Crockett is her name And Burgess is the captain of her And they say she is a lone hell So fare thee well, my own true love And for thy return tonight it we will be It's not the labor of Liverpool that grieves me But my darling when I think of thee Once again, we can now have proved our supremacy over Partine. When the nine there completed captain uh, in charge of training of the Partine underage teams. Lining up now for the trophies which were sponsored for today, including all trophies for today's games, sponsored by Don Derry's of Limerick City. <laughs> We have modernized yet, it's not yet out.
Uh, he had written he was chairman at the minor club, making the presentation here to both sides of all trophies for both winners and losers. And Norman knows the score of this match today, you know that of us. Yeah. And uh, the third man with the honor right there is PJ Fitzpatrick, the uh, Six Mile Bridge holder, now a teacher in Clannara, where he's doing great work for the GA and indeed for hurling in general. <laughs> And also the man there with the black and white right yeah. on the back of the crowd is Father Cooney, half to a horse of the great man for the GAA. So while the young lads hold the line at this stage, it is now building up for the, for the official opening of the field. Yeah, we might see it so sit up below and you'll be uh, you'll be organised below maybe. For that scene we'll come back here again. Do you, do you want me to go down below? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
A green used to fall through the green and show park park the green and then our own. Uh, just for our uh, local film now, I'd like to introduce a few uh, former hurlers from the past. A name synonymous with hurling in Clare, uh, with Arna Crusher, Partine and Mealy. A great name from Drummond, Tommy Small, will say a few words to you. Right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Lanarón. This, for me, is a big occasion, lads, because uh, 40 years ago, I way up in the other in the parish in Lanarón, lads, it was there we made a name for ourselves. Some of the greatest in that, lads, are Brian's, Madden's, Fahey's, the Buckley's, the Grady's. All those people, they have since all retired, lads, and they still take a keen interest in this game. Now, we look forward, lads, today with pride to those who take it over in our first steps. And I hope that in years to come, they'll put party in, lads, back where he should be put. Where's the, where's the Martin Small. Uh, he's now say a few words to you. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to see this new pitch here and to see the lads of the parish to do so much for the young fellas here. Uh, as the chairman said in his remarks on the programme, they have everything going for them now and before long we would hope to have the glory that was brought to the parish from years ago restored. And to see the lads here uh, supplement the Clare Hurling team and give us something to look forward to in the years to come. I've got a meal and what I give I'd like to congratulate everyone concerned with this undertaking. And it has turned out to be a wonderful achievement and I thank everyone for coming here today and I wish the game the best of luck. Ned, thank you.